Armed with a keen business sense, a work ethic forged during the Depression, and a personal and business philosophy based on biblical principles, Truett Cathy took a tiny Atlanta diner and transformed it into the Chick-fil-A Inc., the nation's second largest quick service chicken restaurant chain, with more than $4.1 billion in sales in 2011. He is credited for introducing the chicken sandwich to the quick serve industry, but he was not content to let that accomplishment be his only legacy. With his tremendous business success, he is able to pursue his other passion, his interest in the development of young people, an interest he has been a part of since his childhood. Kathy was born on March 14, 1921 in Eatonton, Georgia. Truett grew up in Atlanta's first federally funded housing project, helping his mother manage a boarding house. Kathy is also a dedicated husband, father, grandfather, and great-grandfather. Truett, Kathy, and his wife Jeanette have 12 grandchildren, 11 great-grandchildren as of February 2012, and more than 150 foster grandchildren. Kathy served in the U.S. Army during World War II. He then started in the food business in 1946 when he and his brother Ben opened an Atlanta diner known as the Dorf Grill, later named the Dorf House. He started experimenting with ways to make chicken a viable fast food item. In 1963, once Kathy discovered the perfect tasting chicken, he came up with the name Chick-fil-A, making use of the A to convey the concept of being the first or the best. In 1967, the first Chick-fil-A opened in Atlanta in the first indoor mall in the southeast. Now there are more than 1,600 Chick-fil-A restaurants in 39 states and Washington, D.C. Kathy has received countless awards over the years, including the Ernest & Young Entrepreneur of the Year, Lifetime Achievement Award in 2000, and the William E. Simon Prize for Philanthropic Leadership in 2008. Also, President George W. Bush bestowed the President's Call to Service Award on Kathy in 2008. In 2007, Forbes magazine ranked Kathy as the 380th richest man in America and the 799th richest man in the world, with an estimated net worth of $1.2 billion. Along with these awards, he is also the author of six books. There are a variety of community outreach programs Kathy partakes in. Kathy has offered over $25 million in financial assistance to extraordinary restaurant team members through the Chick-fil-A Leadership Scholarship Program and the S. Truett Cathy Scholar Award. The Cathy family established the One Shape Foundation in 1983. The name comes from their goal to shape winners by helping young people succeed in life through scholarships and other youth support programs. Another program is All Pro Dad, which is an hour-long monthly breakfast featuring NFL players, coaches, and alumni who speak out about the importance of fatherhood. Lastly, Cathy is a national sponsor of Core Essentials, which is a values educational program that gives teachers and parents tools for imparting key values to elementary age kids. There are many unique facts about Kathy and his Chick-fil-A company. All of the company's locations are closed on Sundays to allow its employees to attend church and spend time with their families. Kathy emphasizes putting employees before making profits, which is very unique, especially in the food service industry. Although the company chooses to be closed on Sundays, they still achieve success. In addition, Kathy has employees respond, my pleasure, to every thank you. Chick-fil-A has also managed to have a turnover rate of just 50% for hourly employees, compared to a fast food industry average of 150%. Another interesting fact is that although there are thousands of applicants each year to become a Chick-fil-A franchise operator, they open fewer than 100 new restaurants per year. Also, the selection process for operators can take up to one year. Kathy specifically selects operators that are involved in the community they plan to build in. He feels this gives each Chick-fil-A the best possible chance of longevity within the community it is built in. In 1982, the company fell victim to its own success. Other restaurant chains began marketing their own chicken sandwiches. Chick-fil-A put coupons in newspapers throughout the country and the response rate turned out to be twice as much as expected, thus leading to heavy losses. Kathy chose not to receive a salary in 1982 in order to not force a pay cut on employees. He called a special meeting of the chain's executive committee, in which he caused the company's defining moment. They came up with the company's twofold purpose, to glorify God by being a faithful steward of all that is entrusted to us, and to have a positive influence on all who come in contact with Chick-fil-A. Armed with a renewed sense of purpose, Kathy and his leadership began to fight the competition. Through our reading and research on S. Truett Cathy, we have learned many critical ideas about entrepreneurship. Kathy remains firm in his Christian values through all of his success and failures. He also exemplifies the importance of giving back to the community since they are the reason any company exists. As future entrepreneurs, we need to be steadfast in our morals, values, and beliefs regardless of our situation, as well as support those who have supported us on our journey.